Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. I haven't been here in a while. <laughs> um, so first off, I'm going to start off by saying I made this video already. It was two hours long. Obviously you cut it down for YouTube, but uh, it was two hours long and it got corrupted or didn't save. And so I'm having to redo it. And I cried. I feel like I've been emotional lately. <laughs> EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! So I cried, yeah, it really sucked. It just, it's a lot of time and effort on something than to just lose it, so. Anyways, this is the makeup look from that video. <laughs> Obviously by the title, we're going over Lunar Beauty and Laura Lee Los Angeles, their collab together, their best friends. It's Laura, I don't know her last name. Laura, it's Laura Laura. <laughs> it's Laura Lee and Manny MUA's brands they basically did a collab together they are both some of my favorite influencers they're probably my my most entertaining in makeup influencers that I watch that I don't I'm like every week I'm like oh I can't wait to watch their videos so I was really excited when this collab came out it took me a minute to do the video so last video four months ago five months ago I said that I was going to change my channel into uh, murder mystery type videos because that's what I'm more interested in but still doing makeup but in between time, we decided to sell the house, got a new animal. I got Cushing syndrome again, so I had to have more procedures done because of the CRPS. Then got Cushing syndrome from the procedures and gained like 50 pounds. And that's hard. That, that's hard when anyone like fluctuates in weight like that, especially when they have no control over it. It's just, it just really sucks. So I kind of went into like a, you know sad time and so uh I'm, lo I'm losing it again and i feel like just like last video i kind of said i'm in a space where i want to separate me from mom basically mom and wife you know what i mean so like i need my own hobby and this is my hobby so i still want to do makeup i love makeup and so i decided that no matter what i'm going to do my makeup I like my makeup videos. I want to do them. I like talking about makeup. I'm going to create another channel for my murder mystery type makeup videos. Uh, I've already created one. I just haven't edited it, edited it, edited it, edited it yet, edited it yet. <laughs> Sorry. So I am going to create that. Whoever wants to go on that channel and watch it, cool. I, I, this is honestly just hobbies. I'm only doing it because it helps me basically um I don't get out a lot I don't get to meet people so this is like my community of people I get to talk to and um yeah I decided that I want to keep my makeup community and then I also want my murder mystery makeup community it's kind of like two different vibes so um yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have this channel and I'm also gonna have the other channel I might actually post more on this channel I just love makeup I really love talking about it and so I don't want to give that up, and so I decided this is what I'm going to do. It's just for fun. I don't care what comes of it. I never care, like, if I make money off this stuff or where it goes. It's just a hobby, honestly. You know how people, like, garden? This is my hobby, like gardening. Baby, you give me ice and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. You're some kind of bird. For this video, I went over the Full Fantasy collab. <laughs> Don't they look so pretty? I, I love this picture. I think it's really nice. I like that of them. If you want to pause this, you can kind of see their socials, their uh, YouTube, Instagram, their websites, the pricing, what comes with it. It does come with the eyeshadow palette, which is an 18 shade color palette. It's $48. The blush palette comes with six shades. It's $35. There's two lipsticks, uh, Mara for like Manny and Laura, and then Lanny for Laura and Manny. <laughs> so it's two different shades. They're $14 each. The brush collection is a brush collection and bag. It's $70. It's six brushes and then the cosmetic bag. Full collection is $135. So the reason why it is spelled this way, full, F-O-O-L, they have a podcast together. So they have their two separate channels, their YouTube channels. And then they have their YouTube podcast, basically. And it's called Full Coverage because, you know, they do makeup. So it's like full coverage of makeup foundation. But it's F-O-O-L. And so I, I love that. I love the play on words. I think it's pretty cool. I'm just going to kind of go over uh, what I thought about it. 
kind of give you the rundown of what I figured out during that video since you know obviously I can't do it again for you I am going to just kind of insert more footage of me doing another makeup look tomorrow I will use all separate shades I do have one video in my snapchat that kind of just shows the backlight color of this look because I did use a black shade and then like a blue on top of it really pretty it doesn't the like studio lighting doesn't show like justice. There's, it doesn't give the eyeshadow look justice. I'm going to go over the bag and the brushes first. So one, I love Lunar Beauty brushes. I love Laura Lee Los Angeles brushes. They're some of my favorite brushes. I use them all the time. Uh, obviously I have more favorite brushes, but these are in my arsenal that I use 24 seven. So this collab comes with a, it's numbered one through six. And I'll just kind of go through the brushes. Number one is a double-sided brush. There's a flat brush on this side and then a smudger brush on this side. I used both of them, loved them, very soft. Number two is like an under eye smudger brush. Uh, Laura said they kind of made this because, you know, getting underneath your eye to really like tight line. I really like this brush. Honestly, I like all the brushes, so I'm not gonna go through and say I love every single one. I love every single one. Number three is just you know, an everyday shader brush. Personally, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you my two favorite brushes that I use probably every single day. I, I use more than this, but these are two that I use on a daily basis. So the two brushes I use are the Ariel Morphe brush. Love this brush. I love it for kind of buffing out colors. And then the Rosen Bin E28 brush. Love, this is probably my favorite brush of all time. I cannot wait to get more of these brushes. Love it. It is just so densely packed. Okay, this isn't a video about Rosen Bin, but love these brushes. This is not one that I would probably put in my favorites arsenal, but I'll use it. It's a good shading brush. Next is a number four. Laura and Manny said that they like this for, you know, for getting under eye with powder, wiping off powder, wiping off nose contour, wiping off nose powder, you know, stuff like that. Or even touching up, you know, if you're like oily or anything like that. So this is a really good brush. Now I do have one that's, sorry, let me move you down a little bit. Um, I do have one that is comparable. It is the Ariel Morphe A14 brush. And it is a little bit, I would say less densely packed. This one is a little bit more densely packed. So they basically do the same thing. I don't know. They're both really good brushes. I will probably keep both of these in my favorites arsenal because I will use them for roughly the same thing, but different things at the same time, if that makes sense. You can you, you can literally like throw bronzer in your on your eye with one of these and be done with it. I like this brush a lot because it does remind me of one of my favorites. It will stay in my favorites. Number four is just a blush brush, contour brush, bronzer brush, whatever you want to use it for against my face. Like it's a good, I would say blush brush. You can use it for bronzer. I have a different bronzer brush that I use, but nice brush. Feels really, really soft. It feels very, um, it's not, I don't want to say dense. That's not the word. It's just fluffy, but like firm like a good like it feels it feels like high quality that's that's a good word for it and then lastly is number six which is a powder brush and this is the softest powder brush oh my gosh I used it and I really like this one a lot and then it comes with this bag it has the Lunar Beauty and the Laura Lee Los Angeles logos on it it is a very large bag so like let's say this is the palette I mean th this is large it fits in the bag everything fits in the bag and then there's room. So I said in my last video that uh, I have another bag just like this. I can't remember if I got it from Laura Lee Los Angeles or Lunar Beauty. I probably have multiple bags of theirs. But this reminds me of one of the bags that I have. And it's a bag that I use every single time I go, tra I travel. Every time. Because it fits all of my like go-to makeup items in it. Um, and then I said another bag that I compare to it, just to give you reference. This uh this Michaela, this green box there, it came with a bag roughly the same size, but it's like really soft and velvety. And there's not like a lot of shape to it, but it holds a ton of stuff. Love that bag. I don't know if Glamlight sells that anymore, but 
These are my two favorite bags is this Glamlight green bag, the Michaela bag, and then these bags. There's structure to these though, so I like them a little bit better because they kind of sit up. The green one does not. Just two different bags that I like. Brushes, loved them. You can buy them separately for between $13 and $14 each. Personally, because I'm such a makeup fan, I would buy the brushes. I would actually buy the whole collection all at once because I feel like it's cheaper and it's all things that I will use and I will get a lot of use out of. Um, if I was someone who was just like, oh no, you know, I dibble dabble, I would maybe skip the bag, but get like whatever brushes that you like. Next, I'm gonna say, okay, the, the lipstick. Love, love the formula. I love satin lipsticks. I don't like matte. I don't like feeling like crusty. So the lipsticks, they come in this really cute box. It's like there's clouds on them and I don't like the colors. So, uh, it's, no, I don't dislike them. It's just not my colors. It comes in this really, really pretty ombre container. And you just like press the bottom and it pops out. This one over here is Mara and this one is Lanny. Lanny is a little bit more brown. And I would say the uh, Mara is more pink. I'm not a pink toned lipstick type of person. I will wear it, but it's not something that I'll reach for on an everyday basis. Now, I do think both of them would be pretty with a, I, I kind of gave examples during the last video, but like with a darker lip liner, I think it's really pretty. The Mara was a little bit too light for me, even though I like lighter lipsticks with darker lip liners, it just was a little too light for me. I'm just gonna tell you, I just filmed this look and it didn't, it didn't save again. I don't, I'm pressing start and stop so I don't know what's going on. I guess I'm gonna have to film for a third time. Uh, but for this look I did use all of the purples, the pink shimmer, the gold shimmer, fire. All right y'all, let's try this again for the a third time. <laughs> okay, so I said I wanted to try the blush palette um, for bronzer to see what it looked like. <sighs> Please, sweet baby Jesus, let this work or it's going to ruin my makeup. Okay, hold on. Didn't put enough, cause I'm scared. I feel like it has a little bit of a reddish tint to it maybe. So I don't necessarily know if I would use this for bronzer. In the palette, it looks very... Yeah, there's definitely a reddish tint to it. Uh, I don't know if you can see my eyes. And it's not the brush because I only use this for bronzer and I just washed it. So. Yeah, I don't necessarily know if I would use this as bronzer going forward. I'll use it for today because it's already on. But uh, yeah, definitely too much of a red tint. Now maybe certain skin tones could get away with this, but not if you're pale. <laughs> Let me go ahead and put on the blush. And I'm going to mix Rose Skyline and Peachy Keen. Ooh. Oh my goodness, I love it. Yeah, that is so pretty. Oh, it's got so much pigment, which I love. Yeah, I'll do a backlight camera again so you can really see like the true color. Oh, so pretty. I actually don't dislike it. I thought I was not going to like the colors together, but I don't mind it. It actually... I don't know, I kinda like it together. <laughs> so at first I was like, ooh, it has a red tone to it, but do I like it? I think I like it. I think I like it. <laughs> okay, cool. That means I can take this and only this palette for bronzer and blush if I'm traveling. That's cool. And if you're wondering why my face is so smooth, watch the next video, cause... Just watch the next video, it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs>
I'm probably gonna fast forward the eyes uh, just to kind of show you like what I'm putting on, but fast forward it because I already showed you once and yeah. 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 Let's do some green and gold. All right, let's get into this. I do have mascara on already, but it's a, uh, I mean, nighttime. So I've already, you know, done my day. I think it's number two. Yeah, I'm using the P. Louise 2 base. Baby, you give me ice and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. You're some kind of butterfly. Baby, you give me midnight. You whip up my ass. Mm -mm. No, I'm gonna put that on the first third. It's more like a inner corner for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Sunny in the middle. <laughs> wow. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. And I actually, I sprayed the brush and it did make it um, a little bit more vibrant. So I could have kept the green in the middle. I'm gonna take what's going on and put it like right up against my lash line. This powder brush is really good for like wiping off um, like particles and stuff like that. I like this brush. I'm gonna take Trivia and buff out that brown color. I'm gonna take your fave and do an inner corner highlight. I love that color too. That's such a good inner corner color. One of the colors did have fallout. I think it's the green one. It's the only color in the entire palette that had fallout. Everything else, I mean, was amazing. Let me go ahead and throw on some mascara. Probably not lashes, because I don't, I don't want to. I'm also gonna throw a brown eyeliner on. I wrote back. All right, y'all. So I finally think this one filmed and we'll be good to go. I've used every single color. Let's go ahead and go over all the products. First off, I don't know if it's recognizable on film. It's not recognizable in my mirror, so I don't know. When I look on camera, this eye looks like it's like straight across instead of curved, but it looks identical. I don't know. I might be tripping. I used every single color in this palette. Love, 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 love. I hate that this is like a limited edition thing because I want everyone to get it. I love this palette that much, especially like it's not just neutrals. You have your neutrals, you have your blue, your green, your purples, you have black, all the way to like a beige where you can just put it in your crease and you're good to go. It literally has everything you could possibly want. This is such a good palette. The formula is top tier, very, very good. I'll actually keep it on the side of my desk because I'll use it all the time. And I'm glad I got it because it will be very loved. <laughs> the blush palette, I really like it and I'm glad I got it. I love all the pinks and I actually like the brown as a bronzer. I didn't think I would and I even said I didn't at first, but the longer it sits, like, hmm, beach. I like it a lot. Don't like the highlighters. I will never use the highlighters. I'm not a highlighter person because obviously I've got like texture and stuff. So that's a pass for me. Uh, but the blush palette itself, the other four colors, I would pick it up because it has four colors that I'll use often. If you were to go buy one single blush from like a more expensive brand, it can be upwards of 25 to 35, sometimes $40 for one single blush. So for a palette that's like, well, I think it was like 35. I like it. I suggest getting it, especially if you're of the lighter skin tones. I know they said darker skin tones can use it too. I can't say anything to that since I have nothing to test it on. The lipsticks, I like the formula. I actually like the formula better than like the Lunar Beauty formula. I don't know if it's the same, but I'm pretty sure these ones are a little more soft yeah i feel like they feel different hold on let me let me test it out real quick yeah see okay uh the new lunar beauty ones are a little bit different so on the next video i go into it the new lunar beauty bullet lipsticks are a semi matte 
I think. And these ones are a lot more glossy. So I like the Full Fantasy lipsticks. The bag, love. And it is a Laura Lee Los Angeles bag that I have, that I love, that I use all the time. Um, so it is similar. And obviously the brushes, I've already gone over those. Really like the brushes too. And now that I know, like I really like this fluffy brush. It's a really good brush for like fallout and stuff. And you always need a fluffy brush because otherwise you're gonna like press it into your face. Sorry, that was such a chaotic video. I feel like it's everywhere because I had to do it four different times, but I guess overall, I was able to play with every single shade in the eyeshadow palette. So I can tell you that there's not one miss on that palette. Like I think it's, sorry, I'm shaking the table. I feel like it's a 10 out of 10. I personally think between Lunar Beauty and Laura Lee Los Angeles, this is probably my favorite. You know what I hate? I hate when I try to go into my phone and it doesn't recognize me with makeup. Are you saying I'm that ugly? Like, rude. I personally think that the Full Fantasy collection is probably my favorite collection out of all of Lunar Beauty and Laura Lee Los Angeles. Like, this is a really good collection. I like everything that came out of it. Yeah. All right, so that's it for the collection. I, I still wanna do my daily affirmations and I have a perfume I wanna show too. Uh, today's daily affirmation is, I put energy into the things that matter to me and I'm actually really glad I got that daily affirmation today because I let YouTube go. Like I stopped doing videos and I put my family first, which obviously I should, but I neglect myself all the time. Like everything else in my life kind of gets put on a pedestal, my husband, my children, my work, all of that. And then my, obviously my illness, all of that gets put first. And then I'm like put dead last always for everything. So I, Literally the other day when I decided to start making videos again, I was like, I'm gonna, no, no. I enjoy makeup and I'm gonna do this for myself because what else do I have? Like, that's me, literally only me. So yeah, that's a good daily affirmation. And I'm glad I got that. Maybe it's a sign that I should keep doing it. <laughs> uh, and then the perfume today is half gone and I got it probably two months ago, maybe a month and a half ago. It's called Penrose Sun Saint. And I all I know is it has sandalwood in it and sandalwood's probably my favorite scent ever. If a perfume has sandalwood in it, I'm buying it, I'm buying it. Oh my gosh, it is the best smell. And that's probably why it's almost gone is because, ah! that's probably why it's almost gone because I spray 18 sprays every time I use it. But that's it for me today. Thank you for sticking around if you made it this far because that video was absolutely crazy and everywhere. I apologize. But uh, yeah, so I'll catch you next time.